What is up YouTube? Today we're going to start off with some blue black control. Played this deck uh, about a week ago and really liked it so I decided to update it with a couple new cards. Try some things out. Um, I didn't really like the Bantu's Last Reckoning in the main deck so I moved over to the side, added a Scare of God, then put a couple moments cravings in to give myself a little bit more um, a little bit more removal game against the aggressive decks. And then I put a consigned to a, just a random consigned no book in. The main deck just had answers. We got got wrecked by Exelon's Binding. In the sideboard here, I moved over to a couple viziers just because we got I got destroyed by a Carnage Tyrant. And I just I don't really wanna like Carnage Tyrant made this deck feel pretty anemic. I just wanted to have a couple answers to that. Between the Bantu's Last Reckoning and the two Viziers, like I have some answers, I have some solutions, so just like having these in there. Um, so yeah, let's just run it through a league and play a little bit of standard. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Mardu Vehicles later tonight after I get all this set up. So, uh, competitive standard. Yeah, this deck felt pretty strong. I played it kind of not having played it or a control deck in a while. It's actually my last standard league was this deck. I felt pretty dominant. As you can see, two O's across the board, except for that one um, matchup against like a Carnage Tyrant deck. And that did not that did not feel all that close at all. This Carnage Tyrant just blew me. I only had one answer and they had two of them. So like I ended up being able to deal with the first one, but the second one was just like the second one was just super, super back breaking. Back, back, back breaking, excuse me. So yeah, let's uh get into it here. Oh, uh, we have a one lander with a gear hulk. Even though we're on the draw, we can't keep this. Well again, my opponent's nice. Yeah, well. Keep this one as we like the scry doesn't really matter. I'll put a mulligan too to hook us up. Put that on top. Minister. Okay, so I'm gonna want to kill that. I'm playing against a God Fails gift deck, so we should be in pretty good shape. I think I'm just gonna fetch my tapped black source at the uh, the end of their turn. Um and then just play this Drowned Catacombs, hold up a sensor, and then Fatal push this at the end of the turn if they don't do it again. Okay. I played against this after uh, during my first league and did kind of put a beating on it. Saving cats, it's too strong. We're gonna get in here with a little bit of beat, so they don't. Nothing for them. Hey Blair, how you doing? Yeah, we're just gonna play Drown Catacomb and pass. Hopefully the sensor like a champion of wits. That would be kind of sweet. If not, I'll cycle at least one of these for sure. Hey Aaron, how you doing? Okay, so we're going to playing around sensor here. I don't see how it gets any better there, Aaron. Life is pretty damn good. So they embalm the cat. We'll let this happen. And I'm definitely just going to kill this at the end of my turn and then cycle this sensor. The opponent might not play around the second sensor. Um after getting rid of the first one. I just want to hit land drops also. We want to just build up to the Scare of God. <clears throat> okay, yep, they're going to mull our mill. They haven't hit anything really great in the game yet. Okay, we could be in a little bit of trouble. Really want to hit a land drop so that we can turn this illumination into two cards. 
Oh, Aaron, thank you very much. Less than three UQT pie going to start streaming again soon. That is the Roan. Recycling this in their main phase. That seems very odd. Thank you very much, Aaron. I appreciate your support. We even can let one of these resolve, like something scary, and it'll go so they can shape. Um, I do think I'm just going to cast this. Well, no, I'm not going to cast it. We're not. This doesn't matter. Like, we're going. We want to make sure. I would rather hit my land drop than do anything else. It's a roan, man. All right, show me a land. So they have a God Pharaoh's gift and they get to refresh. That's supreme well. Missing that is sad. Land. Okay. So I think I just have to pass. I've got enough interaction. And if my opponent doesn't do anything really scary, then I can Supreme Will into a land. I really don't want to, like, cycle this Illumination and then be naked. I'd rather just miss a land drop here. I'm under no pressure. Our hand's stacked. We can get into this late game. We should be in good shape. I'm going to just take care of this. I'm using this instead of the... Supreme Will because it's live for a couple more turns and like we might end up needing it down the road to dig to the land. All right, there we go. Now we're in good shape. So now we're it's going to be we're pretty hard pressed to let my opponent resolve anything or let like to counter anything here. It's going to have to be a really high impact spell because I do really want to um, furbish. So. What is this go? Return target non-land permanent to its own team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can just bounce it after this happens. Or I can counter this. And I'm gonna counter this because this isn't live for very much longer. We are running out of land. Or like running out of spells. Like I might have to just cycle this at the end of the turn. To just like keep things going because if I hit a land drop I can play search and I can play that's annoying so I think I'm just going to cycle this hopefully hit a land and then consign to like bounce try to bounce this and then play my own search my opponent's pr pretty out of gas so I think I'm going to cycle this moment of craving the land, scare of God. My opponent's got one card left. What can they bring back? Can we just start bringing back... Yeah, I think I'm just going to play Search for Azkanta. Probably Moment of Craving this, and then hope that we can flip it, and then get Scarab God, have Scarab God take over the game. Though they haven't shown me a cast out yet, so there's a chance the first Scarab God can is going to die, but this means that I'm only one land away from Torrential Deer Hulk, so if I do hit a land drop, I could just play the Hulk, like, flash back the Illumination, and then try to fight through, like, we can deal with a God Pharaoh's Gift here, like, we can even, like, consign it at the end of the turn if they get it into play, and then hit it with the Aftermath on the end of their turn, so they decided to put an Island in there, so they have one card in a random bust. Okay, that's, that's good for the home team. Them doing this means that we're not just getting got right off the bat here. They're going to just slamming this and then slamming a uh, yeah, strategic player. So they're just cantripping all over the place. Okay, so they cast this. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape now. If we hit a land, we'll just pass with Gear Hulk Illumination up. If we don't hit a land, I'm just going to slam the Scarab God. And I'm going to deal with this now because my man is going to be pretty tied up for my next couple turns. I just have a free opportunity, so might as well cash it in. Oh, we didn't play around Charter Course. That was my mistake. That was bad. 
MTG bot is coming in right ready. Fed it pulls into the graveyard. I'm gonna go no, and then I'm gonna flip this. And then I'm just gonna play the Fed pulls, play the Scarab God. We could get punished pretty hard if my opponent casts, like, my opponent does get a God Pharaoh's gift from the play, but if we can untap the Scarab God, we shouldn't even change. All right, that's good. That's good for the home team. So what do they have for Grey Garden? It's cool. They don't have any, they only have a minister, and they missed off of Vera's content which is pretty good. So does Minister target player? So I can actually mill them if I want to try to hit more of their creatures. They fumigate my Scarab God, okay. One, two, three. Then I can have five mana to get, yeah, we're just gonna go get our basic and then play the Scarab God again. You be getting the Scarab God is not really just a hard way to play it. Don't let him tap for a black at any point there. And now we have enough, we almost have enough to land to double activate it. So I can like Scarab God something of theirs in the upkeep to scry to another land. Um, I guess we'll get this back. Scry to another land. Then we'll be able to activate it again. I also could just mill them out, theoretically. Um, I'm going to put that on top again, because we can consign to Oblivion anything away that's, like, really scary. And... You know, just like bounce a God Pharaoh's gift or something. And then next turn I can activate it. Next turn I can activate it twice. Settle the wreckage. That's a little frustrating. I could bounce my own Scarab God, but I have two left in the deck. So this is just more mana. We're going to let it happen. And I can cycle this Fetid Pools now. And still leave this up. Then I then I've got Gear Hulk Illumination. I can start to get more, start to get my wheels turning a little more. Refurbish Targeting God Pharaoh's gift. Okay, so now I gotta think. So I have priority again before we go back. I should bounce this because then they can't recast it, and then I can just get it on the next turn. Where I can just mind rot him on the, with the second half and then empty their hand. They play an angel. Okay. All right, angel's gonna be annoying, but we still we're still the largest thing on the ground here. So I do need to get this. Get that out. Of, well, actually, hang on. I can gear hold disallow it, which is probably which is better than doing that. So I'm just gonna play my land out and am I okay trading? No, I'm gonna have the minister hold off the ground. Then I'm gonna gear hold deal with his uh, whatever it is. Um, can't think of it. Deal with his God Pharaoh's gift from the way down. I actually can start to mill them out. Then we have this hieroglyphic illumination to uh, just keep the velocity going for the next couple turns. I might actually, I think I'm just gonna, how many cards is this? Puts the top three, so I can actually, I think I'm just gonna like, well I guess I'm not really, there's not really an actual chance I'm gonna mill my opponent out. I'm much more likely to Though, how many cards are left? How many, like, there's one God Pharaoh's gift in their graveyard. They've got 
one, two, three, four refurbishes gone. So I should try, I actually should know them to just see if I can hit, uh, like they've got to have only a couple God Pharaoh's gifts left in their deck. Oh, because now they can have bomb. That's stupid. I didn't think about that. That's very stupid. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this on my main phase. I could, I probably just played myself into a bit of a, a bit of a hole there. Just wasn't thinking about that. There's a set of pools. I forgot like the eternalized things, which was a poor play by me. This is gonna be a difficult game to close out. I think. We'll just get rid of both of these creatures. Actually, I'll just get rid of... Well, they're just going to chop. Okay. Alright. I think I'm just going to play this land out. Because if we're going to start as contacting and doing things, I'm going to want as many lands in play as possible. Wow, they're going to put... They're milling me. Okay, that makes sense. I do think I'm going to... Well... It's a little difficult because I could I could just continue to mill them because um, it makes it so that if I return another one of these with a Scarab God later in the game, they're just that much closer to dying. I am going to disallow this. And I do think I'm going to mill them. Cat, two two life linker. We have the ground held up. It'll be interesting to see if I can like end this game via milling. I think. So let's say twelve cards left. We're down on time, which is good. All right, that's pretty good. So let's attack with this. And then I'll, I can moments craving this later. And then I'll just pass. There's nothing that I want to do on my main phase, I think. I just don't think I want to commit mana when I have five mana worth of cards to do that. I get impulse, impulse, and moment of craving. This thing here. Nice there, Farby. They're gonna do this champion. I'm gonna activate his Kanta with this champion witch ability on the stack. Because I'm at least going to deal with this angel invention so that the champion doesn't. Uh, might as well take that. Any order. I'm gonna dig one more time with this Supreme Well. Any order. So now I'm just going to play this so that they get to look at one less card. I'll gain two life. And I will pass through this. And now that I can now that I can activate Scarab God, I can start getting back some of their ministers. And I can just mill them out. So we should be in good shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna be able to play Scarab God and activate it and hold up his Veraska's Contempt while having the largest creature on the board and attacking the Hulk. So like, we're, we're hitting our opponent on a bunch of different fronts right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we don't have enough to go Scarab God and play as Kanta. It's definitely, like, we got a new TV, and I love watching Magic on a new TV. And they don't have any more, um, they don't have any champion. I mean, they can cast a champion at this point, it's fine. So 
that's going to resolve. And then I'm going to think before I go to combat. So what are they going to get? They probably get an angel. Make their angel big. But then I just mill them out and kill them. So yeah, I'm going to let them go here. They actually have to get Minister of Inquiries to not die. But if I activate on my turn to get a Minister of Inquiries, they just get the other one and then they're not actually... Well, I guess... No, they're dead anyways because we just get to mill two cards. We just need to get two energy. Margin Cold, nice. How is Cole doing? I saw him commentate at the... Uh, at the, whatever it is, the last championship that they had at Gamer Crazy, and it was great. Ah, uh, see, they saw it here. So they're milling me. Now we scare God back this minister. Tapping for black. Mill them for three. Yeah, got it. Okay. So I think I want the siphoners. Um, and I think I want the duresses. On the draw, I probably want the rest because I want to be able to answer this, um... Oh, nice! I'll be up in Potsdam in April of this year. I'm fairly confident. I'm gonna want... I might want some number in the gates, but we'll see here. I want to ditch my Moments Cravings. And I think I want to take out some Fatal Pushes. As their creatures don't really matter that much. Like, the only one that is really scary in the early game is the... Um whatever the dumb card is, the, the minister. I do that. I think I like this. I'll look to bring in the negates when I'm on the play, I think, cut the duresses, but I want to be able to duress and search for his contel away or duress their negate away. So. Yeah, I'm excited. I want to, I haven't been back to Potsdam in like two years. I'm definitely going to rent a car and go up there at some time. This this year or this uh, during 2018 when I can when I'm old enough to rent a car and not have to pay an arm and a leg for it. Sounds great. We'd like to see a um, a glint sleeve type. Um, I'm gonna lead on this so that I can fatal push something. And then like if I draw a sensor or a piece of two mana interaction, I can just snap it off. Search. Yep, that's that's bad. That's what we were worried about. Alright, Drown Catacombs is good. Though I'm just gonna play this fetid pools and pass. Yeah, this search first search is really annoying. We have eight three thirteen through the fifteenth. Okay. We'll see. I'm going to schedule it around our the Clarkson Rugby Tournament, I think. Right here, we got a... Okay. They're bringing the beats. Oh, we're sitting on a boatload of removal, so I'm not super worried about it. I'm going to hide behind this Supreme Will this turn, and then I'll probably end up impulsing. I don't think I'm going to be attacking. My opponent should play into my mana here, I think, because it's really bad. Like, you want to make it so I can't filter my deck. All right, well, I'm going to just probably look for a counter spell <coughs> or another land. My opponent can negate this if they want. Ooh, there's Siphoner. Siphoner is great, but I think I'm just going to take another Supreme Will into a Supreme Will. Which means maybe I shouldn't have even casted it. They're going to try the Illumination at the end of their turn. Drawing both my Fatal Bushes is a little awkward against this 3-drop. This Alright, well, I'm going to 
Nice! Way to go, Cole. Alright, um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to deal with this because it's just going to put so many bodies on the board. Like, it's just a good creature to cast. Like, it's, it's effectively, what, two, four, six, seven power and a five drop. All right, I'm going to pass again. As soon as my opponent takes a turn off, which is going to happen eventually. I'm going to be able to cycle this hieroglyphic or play this hieroglyphic illumination for two, and now we can still disallow you know, something from my opponent. I still have refurbishment. Okay. Yeah, and if we hit a land, we can go let's contact and disallow. My opponent should counter this by any chance. We want to hit a land here. Okay. I still think we're not under enough pressure yet to put the shields down, but I probably will contempt this at the end of their turn just to get this off the battlefield. We should have jerseys for the nationals and flavors too. If he's the first round in April. Uh, we'll see. I know that I have a lot. Like April is going to be a hard hard month for me. That's why I got to schedule like one weekend. Like, just because of how work is right now. And again, we've got to trade. We've got to trade resources because our hand is so clunked up. Then we get to bring it back, which is nice. That is nice as well. Something like this. And now we have search and discipline. And I'm not going to fight over this. Just because I don't, I really just don't want to have that angel come back. And then not have a way to get the God Pharaoh's gift off the graveyard, out of the graveyard, or off the table, excuse me. I think it's a good choice at the moment. Uh, I'm going to use this because it's mana efficient. I think, like, just playing the Scarab God and being able to protect it is very good. You're a little, like, it usually plays three Gear Hulks and two uh, Scarab Gods, but I added a Scarab God just because I think Scarab God's, like, probably the best threat in standard at the moment. Let that go. I need to land, like, a card drawing spell. Land a card drawing spell, find a gear hulk. This is contest gonna flip, so we're gonna be able to field a ruin at next turn, which is nice. And I'll fight over it. Like if they if they have something weird like a disallow for this field of ruin activation, then that's gonna give them some advantage going long. Okay, so that hieroglyphic illumination is like that's great going to give us some, some uh, speed. There's, a, there's an argument for me doing it on my main phase, purely because um, yeah, I might be able to hit a land drop. doesn't flip it because of the field. makes sense. So I think I'm just going to let this go because it's worth it to Illumination and I can just untap and contempt it and then I can just Fatal Push away the two tokens. Like this feels a little rough, but like they do, they are going to get like a lot of value out of me. But they're running out of cards. They can't flip this search. I just want to get into the late game and just keep my cards flowing. Which two lands isn't even that bad. So I'm going to start with this. And then. I'll wait, hold the counter spell up, and then push each one of these servos at the end of their turn. This deck feels really nice. Like, I've only played, this is probably only my 10th, or it's probably like my 7th or 8th game with it so far, but I do like how, how, it, how it feels so far. 
Angel Finch. So that thing's gonna come back. That would've been a really nice Brassus Contempt target. Angel Finch comes down. So I think I'm gonna leave this actually because I wanna land my search next turn and then I can find a Gear Hulk in Brassus Contempt this. So, and if I counter this, and then I get to play Search, they're just going to Angel of Sanctions my Search for Esconta. I don't know what they could resolve here, but I'm just going to take two. They definitely, looks like they boarded out some of their creatures, so I think I'm going to board out the rest of these Fatal Pushes for, game, for the next game. And we can flip this and not worry about this angel getting it, which is good for the home team. Champion of Wits, that's, that's right. I probably have to dissolve the ability on that. And then I gotta find a gear hole. And gear hole to get rid of this. But if I can get, if I can flip this, get this going, I should be in good shape. Yeah, I think, I think this search is gonna is gonna get us into the game here. And if we can flip it, then it's protected, and then we can we can deal with the rest of what we can do here. Yes, because the same thing as cycling it. Transform this. Okay. I'm going to play my land because I want as many lands in play as possible once I start, like, as contacting. So now we've got we've got our engine. We just need to find a way to deal with this And we have a lot of that. We have another Contempt, and we have four Gear Hulks. Three Gear Hulks. So we have four draws that do it. We're going to be looking at two cards a turn here. I'm going to do this now, just because we might find an answer to this. We might find the last contempt. All right, play this. Any order. I got to be worried about time for the last one. We are three minutes. We're about two minutes now, so. Long grind again. Get that out of here. I just need to find a scare guy. Though I'm pretty sure my opponent has an answer to it. Okay, they have an angel of invention. I'm just gonna take the scare guy. Because the angel of invention will help me out with stabilizing the board here. Yeah, that is just the absolute stones. And welcome to Standard, where the Scare of God is going to get you at one way or another. I did tap this so my opponent theoretically can flip this, but I'm not field of ruin a search now. I'm just going to get this Angel of Invention back. My opponent wants to impulse they can. Alright, let that resolve. Targets the scare of God. I get back this. And I'm gonna put two counters on it. Well no, they might he might have a way to answer. He might have another answer to this. Okay, that goes. Then we rasp with contempt this, and then we're going. Furbish, okay. All right, now we're in trouble. Because we're going to have to Vraska's Contempt. Probably still have to Vraska's Contempt this. 
Well, his made his a six six. That's good for us. Oh, I have to block his now. All right, might as well block that. Yeah, that was bad because now I had to block there. Uh, get rid of them. Let me do this first. Try to find something here. Green will. Miss the scare of God. Take care. Well, hang on. We make a mana by doing this. Okay, shuffle my library, put my scare of God back in it. Take out this. 6-6 six, six here. And then we're still losing this race, but he doesn't have any more food left for this um, for this God Pharaoh's gift, so the time's gonna time's gonna become a factor here, because we're only in game two. Charter course. Alright, don't hit something to bring back. Hit a minister. Okay. Minister to taste. Mills himself. Go champion. Champion doesn't kill me, even though champion's gonna do a lot of work for him. Okay, this game's gonna get difficult. Probably need to find a gear hole. Because I'm actually dead on board to this. And they just drew two more cards. Gee. I'm going to look for a Gear Hulk. Do I can Gear Hulk? Okay. Any order. And then hit this Angel. And then hold this off. Then I get to get in with one... Um, with one servo, hold one servo back. They have a negate, it's over. Okay. Whew, that did not. I thought I was very far ahead there, but sometimes God Pharaoh's gift will get you. So we're on the play now. So I'm gonna take out my take out my duresses. Probably bring in some more negates. And I think I'm gonna board out these fatal pushes. They just were not very good. Here, so maybe I want a couple to rest. So turn one to rest is really good. Yeah, we'll go like this. Hopefully, I can land a quick siphoner. I didn't see any removal besides cast out from them. They, they got rid of their bath land. So if we can land a quick siphoner, it should be a good. Show. Long first game. I do have eight minutes left, so I'm gonna have to like get on it. Maybe there's an argument having viziers in my deck, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. So turn two search. And we have sensor negate and consigned to oblivion to hopefully put the squeeze on our opponent. I do need to play quickly. Probably might chat a little bit less because I've only got seven minutes on my clock and these games take forever. Pump's mulling it over. It's probably like a really sketchy like one lander, yeah. Which is good for the home team. If we ever get to like flashback mind rot, we should be in good shape. Captain put a card on top. Put this in the play. And then I can even like consign and negate. I'm gonna try to flip this quickly. Yeah, we don't need another land. Okay. Gotta censor a champion of wits if my opponent shows me that. Just filling up our graveyard. It's not great, because it's gonna be able to come back eventually, and we're definitely gonna get that far in the game. But I'm gonna fill my graveyard up to kind of see the power of my draws. Ah, uh, no, we do want to get Siphoner. Siphoner should be good. Our hand isn't great to protect it. My opponent lands like an angel, but 
They're cycling, okay. That's good. That means they probably have another one. Yeah, we were on it there. Now they're just digging for lands. Okay, we'll let that in. Put this line in your graveyard. Um, I think I'm gonna go yes, looking for a land. That's aggressive, but I'm not gonna draw a card here. Because the Siphoner is going to fill my hand up. And I just want lands in order to cast my spells. Hopefully not time out. Now we'll pass Illuminations. Or negate, like, uh, something that brings us back. It would be nice if my opponent just didn't, didn't use their mana here. Wow, they milled three lands. That sucks. That's a beating. Opponent might have a negate, but like we still draw a card in our upkeep, so the cards are definitely still going to be flowing no matter what. As long as the cards are flowing, they're in good shape. Yeah, it's okay. We'll trade. We're going to go up card here. Let's want your graveyard. No. Yes. Now we have a counter spell against. An angel, which is good. I thought some of these decks played uh, played one glimmer instead of like a hieroglyphic illumination, just to um, just to, uh, like tune up energy for the siphoner, which might be worth it. But being able to cycle the illumination is pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna Gonna get a little aggressive. My opponent's missing land drops, so this is gonna like mess with them a little bit. And this is fine. They were all wasting the gate on this. That's okay. We'll get to impulse. One, two, three, four, five. Play the planes. It's gonna be a little soft to an angel next turn, but we can deal with a refurbish. We've already seen two negates from my opponent, which is pretty good. We want to see a scarab god. Okay, um, yeah, we'll just take the Scarab God. We're not going to play it yet. Put Island. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we will flip it. As soon as we can protect Scarab God, we're going to play it. That's a pretty good draw. We're going to be able to draw another card next turn. I could just slam the god, but I really don't want to get refurbished. And the siphoners are, are going to put enough pressure on my opponent, I think. And it's going to allow me to Sunken Ruin if I get the chance to. So I think I'm in the driver's seat. I just need to not time out. Okay, that's, that's annoying. At least I can look and determine if this, it's good, the scare of God's good or not. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if they hit a land, this is punishes us. But I think it's just gonna be so good if we can get the god down. And they can't even get anything back really. They can get champion wits, but like we can get our own champion wits down if they don't hit a land. We need to get aggressive. Okay. Um, we're just gonna get this champion of wits back now, so that I can find a land to negate their um to negate their 
Whatever it is. Okay. Yes. Wow, we didn't... Well, I guess we still have negate now. So let's discard this. Let's keep that. Discard a second negate. Okay. All right, attack with my scare god because it's just going to come back. We're going to negate their last draw. Gonna take out the ministries and this. Then I can contempt this and then start attacking with my ground pounders. Just need to not time out. Make sure I play my land. God comes back. We're gonna be able to even. We're going to be able to go Contempt and Disallow next turn. Now we're just going to get the beat on here. He's new to Gate Art is sweet. Edition Island. They just like have to slam this. Oh, oh we can't deal with that. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we'll F6 do our turn now. It's okay, I can still contempt this and then attack with each one of these here to get in to push some damage. I'm gonna have to motor. Play my tap land. Then I've got a counter spell for that, whatever they do. I actually can just go like this and get both of them. One and one. Play my tap land. Oh, play it. Oh, I already played one. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. Oh, I was, I'm still in my combat phase. Gosh, that's annoying. So now we just need to like hold up, keep the battlefield clear, use this gear hulk to smash through the wind. Yep, you got it with the charter course. Again, we're not we're not countering anything that we don't need to. We're gonna draw another card off this siphoner, get in for six. Edition surge, okay. I think we're going to do it. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm just going to play Fetid Pools. Actually, I'm going to play Field of Ruins so I can play Gear Hulk and Negate. So I can go Gear Hulk Disallow with Negate, Gear Hulk Contempt with Negate. No, controls. Oh, I cancel. Disallow. Should be good. Holy shnikes, what a first match. Okay, so 
negate this. Got another negate, bud. I need a chum blocker. And two chum blockers. Cast out, it's not a chum blocker. Actually, she F6. We'll draw a card. Search. Okay, we should be good. I got two counter spells up here. Phew! Close way to start off the night. Holy shnikes. Wow. That was close. I'm going to toss up the sponsors page here and go get a drink after that one. Whoa, that was tough. Put the deck up here. Oh, you're on the sponsors page. We're right back. All right. All right, let's toss it back to the stream. Get in here for a second match. Hope it doesn't take that long. I'd like to stream two decks tonight. 12 years, I hope everyone's having a good time. Hope everyone's hanging out here. My name is Dylan Hovey. You wind up to my stream. I'm a member of the Card Hoarder Network. They're the best bot chain in the business. They're on my, they are on my, um, my sponsors page. Yeah, that was a good one, Blair. It was right down on the wire. So you should check them out. I love how Nightbot still. I, I had to say, why Nightbot come in? All right, we're back in it. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. We have like moment of craving. We can, if we have time, we're gonna find a blue source, and we got like our best card against aggro decks. We have two of them. So like, if it's slow then we're okay. If it's fast, then we have two good cards. It looks like it's going to be fast, so it's a good keep from the home team. Well, it's not a great keep, but it, it's going to be able to, like, we're going to be able to play, so. Ooh, okay, we're playing against Grixis deck. Which I only played against Grixis once, but it, man, did it feel like we just absolutely bullied them. The blue land, we're going to need quickly. Not the blue land we were looking for, but it is a blue land. So hopefully we don't, I wouldn't really want to see a Whirler. Whirler's going to be annoying. I know Whirler is sweet. Play quickly, try to play quickly here because, you know, if we're playing a control matchup, then the game's going to go long. Just try to play quickly. And carefully. We'll leave this sensor in here for one more turn. We might get something out of it. Um, I really don't want to get Sean. If I had a third blue source, I would land this surge. But I really don't want to get Sean. All of them go like land Chandra. This canyon slew is doing work, and he needs to come in and play on tap. I'm going to cycle this sensor. I'm going to want to find a third blue source and another land. Springwell's good. Springwell lets me get this down. I can still counter a Chandra. Probably won't fight over this. If I had a Contempt, I'd be more... Okay. If I had a Brass is content, I might fight over that. But I really want to be able to counter Chandra. Yep, they can spring well. If that had been a Glimmer, I would have countered it. But have this, this makes me think that they don't have like a negate in their deck, which is nice. I mean, it's like, it seems like pretty narrow to have negate in your deck, in the main deck, but it's just something to note. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of this while I can have this still count or something. Fills up my graveyard. I could just kill it with two more winter cravings, but 
the ball are going in the graveyard. Uh, no, I'm gonna draw a ball from Worlds. It is slow, but it's a land. And it's gonna add to my Ascanta count anyways. Now I can just moment of craving to double moment of craving like a creature here. And I'm okay with it happening because this means my Ascanta is gonna flip. Yeah, so the trigger on the stack. Like, I lose, I get two for one, but I'm gonna get two for one with, I'm gonna be able to turn these cards into something when they're not very good. And I'm gonna get closer to flipping my search. Ooh, they're gonna get Harness Lightning. All right, I'll trade that there. It's gonna make it so this isn't, it's gonna make it so this is a, basically a two for two, at least behind a Thopter, which I'm all right with. Um, let me go like this, get my third blue source. Cycle the sensor. You get low on cards. Contempt's good. Now I can actually flip this. Yeah, I will do it to flip my this conta. Then pass. Want to hold? Really want to hold on to this Gear Hulk until I get something to do with it. There's now. There's how okay, opponent concedes. Which, you know, they're kind they're basically dead. Like we're just like this deck's big brother. We just bully this, this deck pretty hard. So I want to keep in, I don't want these moment of cravings. I want Viziers. I just want to get like everything that's mid-range. I want the Tetsamot. I want my Glint Sleeves. I don't think I want negate. I don't think I want sensor. They're gonna play around that card. Plus, we're going to be on the draw. Um, I want my Illumination, higher living Illumination. Probably don't need the con this Consign here. The Duress is probably fine. Probably can put out one more of these and have the Duress be fine. Though, I, I kind of want four answers to get some Sight there. On two. I don't want that thing gaining energy. Maybe I can go, like, Ditch, uh, Disallow. Like, maybe the counter spells are just a little clunky. But, yeah, we'll go like this. I'm excited to try out the Tetsamok here. Just gonna be like it's just gonna plague win them. Yeah, and we have a Glint Sleep Siphoner of our own. So, and we have an answer there, Glint Sleep Siphoner. Our hand's pretty clunky. We're gonna have to find some lands, but here's our first land. We'll play like we have Spell Pierce. I opponent's not gonna respect it, but you never know. Actually, I should have just played my Swamp, my favorite, like this, because there's more likely. My opponent's gonna play this one. So yeah, this was just all stupid. It was all stupid on my part. I could have a search down right now. Could be in good shape, but unfortunately I gotta get rid of this. That was just, that was just really stupid. Overthought, like overthought it. I just made a dumb dumb. So I'm gonna play my search over my siphoner. Because I don't want to get it hit by a Chandra and then get two for one. This search is also going to, like, both provide me advantage. This is more incremental. This is a little slower. But, you know, each of us, it's going to do something. My opponent Chandra is, I'll just deal with it before it gets a card. Glimmer. All right, we've entered the, the section of the control matchup where... People are glimmering on their main phase. We are tapping out on the main phase. I'm not going to play my Siphoner. Yes, unfortunately, however sad that makes me. Just going to hold up. There's no need to, like, play my Siphoner into a Glorybringer. If I had some way to kill a Glorybringer for my mana, then I would do it, but... And I'm definitely just going to contempt something at the end of the turn here. Like, I need to use my mana effectively. And I can't just sit in my hand with a bunch of these four drops. All right, that's annoying. All right, 
this is probably gonna get supreme weld, but it might not be worth it. My opponent might just keep it around. Though it does swing the race quite a bit. Okay, let it go. I think that's probably good to win. Yes, we don't need that. All right, that's a pretty good draw. So let's go here, check out what they're doing. Nickel Bolas, a braid, glimmer. I can deal, so what does the Bolas do? They cast them without paying the mana cost. And that's seven mana, and they don't have any other ones to add. One, two, three, four, five. They have to go runner, runner, and they're not gonna like run around us. Alternatively, I could just take this a braid and then start my getting my siphoner going. Probably siphoner actually doesn't seem very good because of these thopters. I think I'm gonna take Glimmer, as it's what's gonna let them draw a lot of cards. No, I'm just gonna play Siphoner because I can't do anything else. So if I wanna do that, I'm gonna take a Braid. Play this. Kinda holds back what my opponent's doing. Yeah, I am a little bit of handcuffed there. Okay, they didn't want to waste their energy. All right. It's odd. Well, I'm, I'm more apt to want the consigned to Oblivion now, my deck, now that I see what they're doing here. Okay, so Nickel Bolas is literally a draw step away. Main phase Glimmer, okay. Yeah, I messed this all up. I should have just taken the Glimmer, played this, and had this trade, because these are going to trade anyways. It just doesn't make sense for me to do that. Oh, okay. So they found a removal spell for my side center. Or they're just going to hit it with this Nickel Bolas. Which is fine. Yeah, we don't need the second one. Alright. So what is my opponent going to do with this? The Supreme Will. And they just drew a bunch of cards. So I can attack, siphon, or make a copy of this so that no matter what, I get drawn to the card next turn. Which I kind of like doing. Though, they easily could kill this. Let's start by attacking. Get my damage in, get my energy in. It looks like my opponents have six. And I can still, like, get, get a thought out of this. Then I can untap and hit the Nickel Bolas on my turn. Feels, it's going to feel kind of bad if my opponent hits a land here. The ditch the land. So they have a land for this Nickel Bolas. But we're going to be able to answer it. Like, it is going to deal some damage. Oh, they have a seat of this right here. That's not good. How can you play this card in a Grixis deck? I ask you. They might just shoot me with this. Like deal seven damage to me and just try to like kill me that way oh my god it exiles two cards from the hand too oh wow one two three oh i didn't know the plus did that wow we should take this card yeah that thing's gonna just kill me it's because of a mistake i made Yeah, I messed this up here. I, I did. I just didn't. I should have taken this, put my siphoner, let it get a brain in. Yeah, we just went like. I just was worried too much about the early game. I think my opponent should just attack because they can just nug me with this. Transform this. Draw a card. We got a spring wheel. with all creatures at Nickel Bolas. So then we'll draw another card next turn. Unless my opponent like goes at this um, goes at this siphoner with the Bolas. Which they might do. They're still not flipping their surge. We can Supreme Will, which is good. 
My opponent just got to lean on us to get to the point first where they can start tapping out on their main phase for some bombs. Alright, so I'm gonna draw this. I'm gonna cast this now. Because we're gonna be able to, like, keep the best out of our cards here. Just gain some more velocity. My little counters it, that's fine. It's like I discarded one card now. Gosh, this Nickel Bowl is just eating me apart. Oh, we exile? And then there are scares in the answer to God. I have my own scare of God, but that's. Like, if I scare of God second, I'm just in like such a worse place because they can get back mine. Yeah, we're just dead here. Let me see if I can hit a contempt. No. Because they just get, they just go like, Scarab God my, um, Scarab God back my, whatever it is, my Gear Hulk, draw two more cards, and then they just, they just run us into the dirt there. All right, on the, on the play, I think I want my, I want more, I want some more sensors. I think probably want this more counter magic. Maybe it's a little bit less removal. Tetsamox seems kind of weak. I don't want me. After side, the way that game went. I'm gonna be able to Supreme Will or disallow a Whirler. First, so I think I like these ciphers more. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Oh, a couple answers there. Some duresses to be proactive. Yeah. We've had some fast-paced magic to start the stream out today. Yep, we'll keep this. And again, we just we completely messed up the last game because we threw ourselves off tempo. I think, I think that was the mistake that I made. On the draw, I could have pushed their Siphoner, played my Siphoner, and then it's like a whole new game. 20 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time, a good night tonight. I appreciate everybody hanging out and watching. I hope you're all doing well. Definitely going to start off with a swap. No, actually, I'm going to start off with the Evolving Worlds, because it's not going to be able to push their, their two drop. This will just give me, like, probably another swap. I think I've got more double. Oh, uh, I do have a lot of double. I have doubles of everything. Uh, let's look at the deck here. Let's see which one I want to get. I guess I have more double blues than double blues. So we'll get more blue sources. Alright, there's our. There's the Hulk time. So if they play a Siphoner, we kill their Siphoner. Okay. Then we attack. If we draw like a sensor here, it's a fantastic draw. The Scarab God is also not bad. I do have to kill theirs in my main phase though, because they get just because they went off the ether hub, they're gonna be able to draw a card. First, Whirler would be bad here, but my opponent needs, like, exactly, needs an untapped blue source, which they have. Okay. So now we're just trading. I'm untapping first. Definitely just gonna count this. I don't really want to contempt it. Well, I could have been manifested and contempted, I guess. That's probably the right thing to do. Okay. Land, slam scare of God. This is aggressive, but we're gonna make him deal with it. And we're gonna get like a bunch of it. Like if we 
bring back one of these siphoners. We're going to start, we're going to be able to harass their graveyard and we're going to be the first ones to start drawing cards off of it. And it just puts the onus now to have the contempt, which it looks like he has. Okay. I wish we had a card draw really bad. Card draw spell would make this gear hulk really good. Or if they just play something that we get to disallow. Yeah, I'm just going to sit on the Hulk. We're not just going to flash it in for no value. All right, that's good. Again, I'm just going to sit on the Hulk. My opponent goes to like main or go to glimmer here. I'm going to counter it. This is going to let them flip their search, though, so the onus is on us. At least they're getting rid of that. That arch is, that arch is scary, but this is also scary. So now it's like they get to start just chilling out. At least we can now cast this Supreme Will at the end of their turn and then have something to gear Hulk back for a little bit of value. We're definitely in a little bit of trouble now. They're just going to start grinding us out of this Kanta. Well, at least they missed. Well, play like your Nickel Bowl loss. Play your big, your big endgame spell. Come on. Alright, oh, uh, Scare God's good. That's very good as well. It's gonna let us fight back. And I'll negate this. Because even if my opponent lands in Nicol Molas, I can deal with it. That's gonna be scary. It's gonna be a hell of a draw for my opponent if they have like the draw that they had into a nickel bowl loss. Okay, that doesn't really do It is gonna overload my mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. Like I, I wanna wait to play the scary rod until I can play it and do something, I guess now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I just want to hit land drops now. Just so that I can, like, get an opportunity to lean on my opponent and then, like, and then get in there with, like, Scarab God and Activate and get back a Siphoner. Yeah, this is not a little counter activation, but fighting the bat fight over this Liliana Death Majesty. Holy shnikes. Fighting that fight over this isn't worth it because they're going to be able to do it repeatedly. It'd be one thing if I was winning, you know, if they let me win the game. Okay, I'm just going to like... What is this? Alright, don't negate me, man. God, using the gate. Oh, that's gross. At least my Escanta is going to flip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I say no. Transform this, yes. So I know my opponent has a Harness Lightning in their hand. So I can play Scare of God and reanimate their Siphoner and then fight them on that battle and then look to Veraska's defense something, which I think is my best play. Alternatively, I can just feel to ruin this and contempt this and let them draw a card, but then I don't have any cards. I don't have anything going on. I think I just want to get as much velocity as possible. I think getting the most velocity is just playing the Scare of God and then getting back this Siphoner. 
right now. It's game three. Because like now they're either going to waste the fatal put. They're either going to what is? They're either going to harness lightning this, harness lightning this, and it, like it, we still get some value off of it. And then I can. Oh, I had the gear hulk. I should have like sat behind my gear hulk. I can do that next turn as well. But I do need to get this off the battlefield before it reanimates another creature. But it doesn't have another creature reanimate at this point. This makes my opponent act on their main phase. I do need to just get rid of this. Get rid of the Bolas, replay, Scare of God. Get rid of that. I can Field of Ruin this and then still activate my... Um... Still activate Maya's Kanta? No, I can't. I guess I can just like cycle the illumination. Because my hand's gonna be so clunked up. By the Scarab God. That I can actually I can just cycle this illumination and then I can play the Scarab God and bring back this Torrential Gear Hulk to bring the Illumination back. Which is really going to insulate our battle. So I'm going to do this. I'm definitely going to do this. I should have done that on my main phase. So I could have hit a Fatal Push for this which would have denied them a card. I just need them to not hit a Scare of God. Because if they hit a Scare of God, then they get my Torrential Gear Hulk. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Or I'm going to use it to gain some velocity. I don't exactly know yet. I should turn off my auto yields. But I'm starting to wish I had this Tetsumok in my deck. Alright, well we can just hit the Contempt. So let me play the god first. Whoa, they have their own Hulk. Wow. That was bad. Because now I don't have any ways out. Because I have to hit this gear hole. I guess now I actually just have to cycle this. But because of the way... No, I, so I cycle this. Find a way to counter this. But then they just bring it right back. So I've actually just got to contempt it. Gain two life. Take a shot. And then, like, hope to find... I don't even know. Man, we got worked over by this Grixis deck in game two and three. Well, actually, I guess I could hit a counter spell. Nah, that's, that's worse than just contempting this Gear Hulk. Be able to illumination on our turn because we get cracked for a million here. Is 
just like another, what is this, a glory ringer? Okay, two, four, six, eight, twelve. And we have fourteen coming in next turn. I can only block, I can't block this one. Where's the Bonchu's Last Reckoning? Where yet? this to hope no, they got it I think I got outplayed in the second game there like I feel like I I feel like I had the I had the tools in that matchup to win but I just got worked over let me go grab my computer glasses my eyes are getting a little sore We got paired. Sweet. Want to watch hockey? All right, take it easy, Blair. All right, this hand's good. We can. We have good removal. Our man is online. If we're gonna get pressured early, then I can like get out of this a little bit. Looks like we're playing against the Mon Stars. Yeah, we're gonna go like this. I can kill anything on two that I could kill on one, so it's not worth it. Hey, how's it going, Ace? It's a teamer deck. So I was trying to keep it alive. At least we we're going to be able to a moment of craving this this uh, servant. I'm just going to do that to be mana efficient on my turn. There's no like specific reason why I do this, but just use all my mana. Hopefully, this man is a little awkward and they can't play a Jade Light Ranger next turn. Jade Light Ranger is either going to be huge or it's going to draw them some cards. One of the two. Which is both are pretty annoying. <clears throat> yep, that's nice. This is Servant. So we'll pay it well. Ooh. So I'm just going to hold up Supreme Well. And if I have to, push this. Like Supreme Well to counter something. Then probably cycle one of these Hieroglyphic Illuminations. And then Fatal push this. I'm just playing. I'm playing a couple different decks. Like I'm enjoying. I enjoy this. So I like the standard deck. So we're gonna take four. I'm just doing it to switch up my content a little bit. Like I've been doing a lot of modern. So it's nice to get a little bit of variety. And the standard format looks pretty sweet. Like I like, I like these control decks. I like the monsters deck. I'm gonna stream the Mardu vehicles le uh, league with Mardu vehicles after this one. Get two YouTube videos up tonight, which is pretty sweet. <coughs> I might. Depending on what this is. Card's annoying, but I don't. I think I can just let it resolve, and then look at the top four. Find myself a basic island. Ooh, swamp's kind of rough. Taking the contempt is risky, but I might as well just take the swamp in order to get myself up to these illuminations. I guess I should have done that the opposite way because now they're going to like get rid of this Supreme Will probably. But I'm going to be able to Gear Hulk something back eventually to deal with this. 
Okay, this is just prop. This is just like poor sequencing for me. Hopefully, I hit an island or an untapped blue source so that I can deal with a Chandra next turn or a um, whatever that card is. It's scary. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play search now. Play search. Put the shields down. Fatal push this. I'll just push this now. Gonna get that. Get that F6 on. It's going to be annoying either way. Like, the search is going to help me as the game goes longer. I can't deal with Bristling Hydra anyways, so I might as well not fake it, and I might as well just progress my board. Like, there's no need in, like, playing around something I can't beat. And then just hope that these this search versus contact can get me up to Torrential Gear Hole. And I'm going to be able to deal with this thing with Torrential Gear Hole, even if I have to just, like, eat it in combat and flash something back. Oh man, my neck is sore. Jade Light Ranger would be annoying. We're gonna look for an untapped blue source. Really bad. We'll take, I guess we'll take any land, but we really want an untapped blue source. Because then we can hold Disallow or Illumination us out of the game. Which is good. Oh, well, they were in combat, so that's why they were confused. They couldn't do what they wanted to do. Servant, okay. Give me another blue source. No, I'm going to get up to the Gear Hulk. And between... Now now I'm just going to go like this, because if I hit another blue source, I might just want to cycle my Illumination on my main phase. Which means maybe because of that... That's alright, now I feel better having this. Maybe because of that, I should have kept the... I should have put the Contempt on the Graveyard. I should have put the Field of Ruin on the Graveyard. But next turn, like right now they're going to eat the Illumination. Then the turn after that, I'm going to be able to go like... I'm gonna have a really good turn on my really good turn next turn where I'm gonna be able to get the moments craving back or illumination back with this gear hulk and then fight them in combat while hopefully shrinking something. Take my illumination, don't take my moments craving. Okay. That's all right. They land like a bristling hydra, then I'll fight the bristling hydra in combat. They can't get it large enough to eat my um, torrential gear hold, but they are going to be able to just like harness lightning if they've got it. So we could be in a pretty tough spot here. Put the scare right in my gear. What am I looking for? Like, Scare of God should win me the game. If I can get there. So I don't think I'm going to put that in there. I just want to see if I can get to it. I'm definitely going to Gear Hulk this turn. Get this Illumination back. Hopefully, eat something. And then I can untap and contempt, like, this. It would actually be good for me if they played a Glorybringer book full of combat. So I can get rid of the Glorybringer, eat this in combat, then just take four and have a pretty clear board, and then contempt this. But as it goes, this Torrential Gear Hulk is probably going to get killed by a Harness Light, if I had to guess. Three, three, Seven, nine, ten. They've got to use three, which goes to ten, six. So they have a harness lightning. They just kill me. Hey, Max Mitchell. Yeah, they just kill me if they have harness lightning. So maybe I should just contempt this now. Gain two life. 
And then I can contend something else after combat. And then I can go like Torrential Gear Hulk Contempt. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Which was, no, I'm just gonna like go for it. Because I made a mistake here, I think I'm just gonna like take this out of the graveyard and then just get ready to get smoked by a, get ready to just lose to a Harness Lightning. No way, what is this? They have a counter spell? They have counter spells in their main deck? What is this? I'm going to let it resolve. Yeah, I should have just gone bing, bing. Yeah, that was stupid. Wow, Admirals? Oh, man, that sucks. Because I let them attack and turn that on. Yeah, that's frustrating. All right, we want our Vizy. We just want to get more mid-rangey. Tetsamot. We don't want this. Um, probably want. Don't really want my fatal pushes because they don't kill too much. But I probably can just shave on these. Um, keep my contempt. Tetsamot. Um, cut a couple. Cut a sensor. I'm just gonna cut my pushes. They don't hit it as much in this deck, and like I have the moment of cravings to gain life. I just want to like coast into it on the play here. Hopefully, this. Let's see if this Tetsamok does something. I'm gonna grab some water while we're sideboarding. first. This hand's good. We'll keep this. Play Fed of Pools, Drown Catacombs, Search. Then hopefully Search glides us into Illumination. <clears throat> 11 viewers. I hope everyone's having a good night. I'm having fun. I like playing this control deck. I don't know how good it is or how good I am at playing it. But work was okay today. I, I got up got up pretty early. I was up. I don't know when I got up today. Hopefully, the don't don't spell pierce me. Yeah. I was up at five thirty to get to work today, which kind of sucks. But it was a good it was a good good day at the office. I guess on, I was on site at a construction site all day, which was fine. Get this little little server the conduit. So our sensor should be good. Excuse me, unless they play like a whatever it is, a whirler, but busier. Unfortunately, yeah, actually we can do that because it's a combo on the way back. Let me play this. This gives me a blue source. Really don't want to get Death Lord Scavenger next turn. Volley Wilds is a nice hit because it, it, it like gives me a land drop and he's going to put something in the graveyard. <laughs> kind of pulling some double duty. MTG bot is right on time. A tune? Just kidding. Just kidding. That son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. Now I'm going to cycle this sensor. Yeah, MTG bots. It's having MTG bots having a hard time. MTG bots having a hard time. 
RPG bot is on the struggle bus for sure. It's pretty sad that when I was playing against Teamer, the Teamer got game one in this matchup. Because usually you're pretty good against Teamer on the first go around. But I think I threw the game away. So it was more my fault than the Teamer player winning. Yeah, my opponent is like just absolutely flying here. Make a play. Please, opponent. I ask politely. Alright, get this. I'll cycle my sensor. pass and then illumination hopefully find some action then do action or illumination next turn and then gear hulk just to you know i just i trade my card for two damage right is that that what we're talking about farby which like isn't super great like i'm not super excited about that I should, probably should have bought the, brought the Bantu's Last Reckoning in. I'll do that in game three. Especially if I'm going to skimp. I'm going to cut some counter spells when I'm on the draw. So, it'll be better for me to bring in just more removal, I think. <laughs> Never mind, ignore me. Take seven. We get my sensor. Okay. We take six. Only six. Not that. Not even as bad as I thought it was going to be. Maybe I boarded out too much removal on the play here, thinking my counter spells were going to be good. But they just keep playing around these sensors. And maybe I should just board these sensors out in every matchup. I'd love to find a Contempt and then to be able to Contempt something and Cycle Illumination. And then just Gear Hulk it back. Just like so many cards. Though if my plan is to Gear Hulk back um, Illumination, I might not, uh, might not do anything with it. I'm assuming this gets negated. Wow. Now I'm just going to Tetsum lock them. Um, I do want to draw Glint Sleeve Siphoner afterwards. No, actually, I have so much going on that I think I can just... Yes. That's pretty good. But I think I'm just going to go put a Prey Counter. Oh, this Tetsamok is going to be sick. Put a Prey Counter. As long as they don't counter it, which they could do. Play this. I'm probably going to cycle Illumination because I have so many cards anyways. My opponent didn't have a counterspell for that. And I think they would have counterspelled that Illumination because they're at parity. If I a Glory Bringer here, it would be kind of annoying. This is six and six. They could just, if they have a counter spell, I'm just dead. Which doesn't feel good. So maybe, maybe I should like play this a little differently. Now I'm just going to damn that to Hopefully I don't have a counter spell. Two for one them. And then try to handle 
whatever they do on the untap with contempt, your whole contempt. The Phoenix, we're going to be able to deal with. Because we have contempt. But Phoenix is annoying. This means our Tetsumach is going to be off, which is a pretty big game. It does mean we lose which does mean we lose to a to a glory bringer, but like you know, such as such as life. It's like just don't glory bringer me one time. Don't glory bring me, bro. Glory bringer or Chandra King. A lot of red mana. Hopefully it's just another Phoenix. I think I tossed that game. I'm pretty sure I tossed it there. At some point, I could have looked back there. I probably tossed both of those games, which is kind of frustrating. But at least I know it's my fault. I'd have to look back. Toss this up here for now. 14 viewers. I hope everyone's having a good night tonight. Uh, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you don't, then that's fine as well. Uh, you guys just being here is enough. If you'd like to support my sponsors here, Gamer Crazy is a great store in upstate New York. You should check them out as they like have very competitive singles. They're working on getting their online store back up. Card this I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. This stream is brought to you by Card Hoarder, so you should check them out. They're the best bot chain in the business. And if you ever want to catch my replays, you should go on YouTube. If you ever want to uh, talk magic with me or connect with me, then follow me on Twitter and I love chatting. Alright. Looking looking to cash. Fighting for the cash. Win two in a row. Two in a row, and then we're in good shape. Then we'll get, then we'll switch decks. We'll get into the Mardo vehicles. <clears throat> well, my phone's taking the time at least. All right, we gotta ship this. Hands. No bueno. We have five drop, six drop, and one land. Not what we're looking for. All right, we'll keep this. We have, a re we have two redraws, and there we go. So we're gonna be able to play some magic, which is good for us. I think I'm gonna play the island and cycle the illumination. If you was probably on one, just because it's gonna be good for us to get get uh, hit. Just hit land drops. Especially this gear hole can play this. If New Ridley, it's probably a mulligan. God, don't be a search. Charter Force. Okay, so we're playing against another God Pharaoh's Gift deck. Which is good. I think God Pharaoh's Gift is a pretty awesome matchup for this deck. Just gonna hit our land drops. Okay, so that's not bad because that's just a redraw. Alright, and we did it. Definitely cycling one, if not both of these. When my depending on what my opponent does here. If they give me something to use my mana on, I'm probably just gonna trade. Yeah, like I'll just I'll just trade here. There's our island. There's lacking white man. Alright, we're getting there. Definitely cycling the sensor if we don't. If we don't find a target for it on this turn, we just have disallow ready. Yeah, I'm gonna let this go. I don't want to a moment of craving it and sensor and cycle my sensor. This card is annoying to say the least, but I'm gonna get it off the battlefield.
Irvish King Bay. Michael. Search is good. Wish I had the counter spell to play Search. Because I'm not going to be able to play the Search. At least for another turn. So I need to hit 5 mana in order to get this allow up. Or just have nothing else going on. Alright, so now. I think I'm just going to slam it. If they have land, we furbish. Or they can't even really do anything this turn. So getting the search online is just going to be really good for us. It's how we won our first match. The search for us content quick. Which is very powerful. Of course. Definitely going to cycle this sensor. God throws gift. Okay. And hostile desert. Looks like I'm going to get something out of that. Get this. This is going to get us closer to flipping this. That means we got Gear Hulk time. And Gear Hulk should be pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to put push in the graveyard. That was not a good draw. At least if we get to counter something and we find a land, I get to flip my search and then have Gear Hulk up. God, this search is so sweet. This is my favorite card in this deck. I just love this card. Probably going to counter anything because if I find a land, it's just so good for me. <sighs> I just want to get the Gear Hulk flowing. If we get, get this Gear Hulk flowing here, we're just going to turn into like a Delver deck. Yeah, I'm going to throw that in the graveyard. We just want to hit a land. That's the second best thing. So let's toss. Let's just play, jam this, and then this will fix all of our problems. As long as they don't just God Pharaoh's gift us. But even if they God Pharaoh's gift us, I can get back Champion of Wits. Which looks like we're going to get refurbished. Oh, champion, we're in such good shape. The home team's doing it. If I find a land, I'm not going to scare of God. If I find a... Um, so we're going to pass. All right, good night, Irene. Because now we either... Gear Hulk them to get something back. Or... At the end of their turn, I just steal their Champion of Wits and then draw four cards. This matchup feels like basically unwinnable for my opponent. Okay, you get a Minister. And I'll eat this in combat if I get the opportunity. Yeah, I think that's worth countering. Kind of a cool card. And I'll just censor it because we uh, can save the disallow for someone else, and both of them just counter, or both of them are basically just counter spell. Then we'll attack for 10, pass up with this gear hole. They concede the game, okay. All right, so on the draw against God Pharaoh's Gift, we're gonna sideboard similarly to what we did last time. We're gonna cut, um, we're gonna cut some, we'll cut our fatal pushes, bring in duress, bring in siphoner, cut our moment of cravings, and then bring in, let's see, keep this. Probably cut some of our sensors on the draw. Maybe keep in like a moment of craving or two, just because it's good to gear Hulk back. I don't really want negate on the draw. 
Unless I want to board out maybe like some of these disallows. But they turned into a good creature deck the first time I played them. Maybe I should just get rid of all these sensors. These negates are better than sensors. Yeah, we'll <clears throat> I think this is what we did when we played them earlier, but I haven't played the deck enough to have like a hard and fast uh, sideboard plan. warm in my apartment. Probably because I have that light pointing at me also. I've also got two shirts on, so. And this hand's pretty good. We'll keep this. We have interaction on one, two, and three, and our lands cooperate, so opponent mulligans. Ooh, now we can play our search on two, which is gonna be sick. Good. Spell Pierce Glacial. I'm gonna take this Spell Pierce, just to get my Get my search down, get my search on. I just feel like my deck actually operates like, because this blue black deck's like kind of clunky. Those games when I search for this content and play, it just feels like the deck feels amazing. Nope, we're gonna draw that one. Um, I'm actually just gonna hold up negate because I don't want my opponent to go like, I guess they couldn't really go, I guess there's no end of turn thing that makes it like go like refurbish. Yes, that was stupid. I should've just jammed this, I think. But now I can't, um, put Spring Willow, yes. Now I can't play the Siphon here because then the Glyph Keeper will land. Yeah, I just, I messed this game up six ways on Sunday. But if we get to counterspell this, untap, hit a land, play Scarab God, we don't see any answers from our opponent. Yeah, I should have just jammed the siphon last turn. Strategic planning. I'm just going to negate this to use my mana. Feels bad, but I don't use my mana. And just like let them set up. And if we hit a land next turn, we can play siphoner and disallow. Like it's an aggressive use of my mana. And like I, I realize that. Yeah, we're gonna put the contempt in the graveyard. Land. It's not the land we were looking for. Just gonna pass. And now we just counterspell like anything important here. Then hopefully hit a land so that we can gear hold counterspell anything. I feel like you turn it into this weird like tempo deck sometimes. Where you're just like survive, 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 catch up with your hope. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my mana. Oh, didn't have a negate last turn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put illumination in the graveyard. Cause if I had a land, it's just it's just so good. Moment of craving, it's not a land. So now it's just scare of that time. Slam this guy down, because then they don't get the Glyph Keeper. If they deal with it, they don't get the Glyph Keeper down. And six lands. So they can just cast. There's the Glyph Keeper. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're not gonna scare of God right now. No. Gonna attack. They want to trade here. That's fine. Play my Hulk. Then just counter spell whatever they do. If they don't do anything, then I'm just going to gear Hulk Illumination. I might just gear Hulk Illumination 
if my opponent plays anything, yeah, I'm just going to not counter that. And then I'll just attack with both. So my opponent blocks the Gear Hulk. We had a refurbish. Champion of Wits. Yeah, I think that's all right. I can just Gear Hulk Contempt it if I want to. Or I can just get. I think I really just want Gear Hulk Elimination. <clears throat> just get more velocity and beat down. My opponent's, one of my opponent's last two cards is a land, and they're going to be able to play God Pharaoh's Gift next turn. Yeah, I'm just going to let Gear Hulk into more velocity. Just turn the corner. So I can play... Siphoner to get even more stuff going on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get a bunch of cards in my graveyard. This flips. And this means I still have Supreme Will up. Cards. All right, so now ditch, ditch. Yep. Oh, wow, I can actually duress. Uh, I'll just put this on top because it might be good. Now I can just duress my opponent and then Supreme Will anything they do. One, two, three, just get rid of this. Yeah, this is just like an embarrassment of riches. Because we have their next play covered, their next relevant play covered. We don't have the strategic plan covered, but. And then we get to, we can take them down to, I guess I should have put the gear hulk in the graveyard so that I could have, Hulked back and then contempted something. Yeah, that was stupid. All right, you got your strategic planning. My opponent's just dead on board, anyways. They're not dead on board, but they are. I can do two to them. Yeah, they're just dead on board, even without the scries. All right. All right, so finishing up the league here before we swap it over to a new deck. I am already in the queue here. The old Mardu vehicles. I'm excited to play this deck. Uh, yeah, I can keep this. I can push something on one. Either land a search or center something on two. Looks like I'm going to push the thing on one. Hopefully we play in Grixis again. I can get some, get some uh, redemption. Locking the list up. That's weird. All right, we're just going to let that go. I'm just going to slam the, the, um, slam the search. We need ourselves some lands. Walking Ballista. This is just like a, a Grixis mid range, a Grixis energy deck with Ballista? <clears throat> or are they just baiting out a removal spell so they're. Huh. It's just like some Grixis or a God Pharaoh's gift deck. Bottoming anything that's on land. Yep, that's sensor in the graveyard. So now I can like push something, censor something in one turn, have a pretty good turn. 
Hopefully my opponent just tries to put a counter on this Ballista, and their turn's pretty anemic. Like, they basically use their entire turn to get a point of damage on the battlefield. And then I can just Supreme Will look for a land. If they do that. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. The whole MGG buys one. It's one whole match behind. Uh, we'll grab Drown Catacombs. And we're just kind of in the same spot next turn. They have a Glimmer here to resolve. No, we're just going to draw lands. We want to keep those coming. And now I can push something and then I can like push this and then do this again if I want. I might, I might push this if they go put a count on it. If they're gonna waste their entire turn, do that. Yeah, I can deal with this Etherborn. It's just like a good tempo play. Like, yeah, I just time locked them, basically, by doing this. So, we traded one for one, but I'm a, I'm much ahead on like the tempo advantage of the game, and I'm just working to fill up my graveyard. I'm gonna keep this sensor in my hand a little longer as it can hit something like a Scarab God or a Glorybringer next turn. Maybe something good this turn. Walking Ballista. I'll just trade with this. Untap with just two power on the board. A Glint City Siphoner here would suck. Uh, yep. Am I going to want... I'm not going to want to cast two spells. So I can just go like this. Then cast something. I'm going to flip search next turn. And then search should bury my opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or seven, or seven, eight, maybe. So I'm in good shape regardless. There's not, like, my opponent has a battlefield presence, and the Aetherborn's, like, padding their life total, and it is annoying. But as soon as I find a way to close this game out, though, their cards left in their deck are probably, like, um, in their hand are probably removal spells. I'm going to grab a swamp. So it is going to be a little difficult to slog through all their stuff. Gear Hulk into like something is going to be real is probably a better way to go about this game. No. I like that card. So I can go Gear Hulk into push, which is probably what I'll do at the end of their turn. Let's get this thing off the battlefield. Then make them use another card to take off my Gear Hulk. Get a little clean. Good old clean two for one with the the Torrential Daddy. Let's get this thing. I can't imagine what they're. They just must have a, like a boatload of removal spells. Maybe like a million sensors. I haven't really played it. I haven't given them an opportunity to play in the sensor for most of the game. Right, sure. We get that clean. That good living two for one. Alright, I'm actually I'm not gonna activate this on my turn. Just kind of pass the turn. Maybe I can go like four mana hit and do like Hieroglyphic Illumination and still be able to cast it because we've got eight lands in play. This deck does not flood out. If you ever, like, the, the nice thing about this deck is it really just does not flood out very much. Like, you just have so much you can do with your mana. All right, there's something. Unfortunately, we pass a Hulk, which kind of blows.
Now we're just like howling mining it up. Now I want to, as Kanta, I think before I evolve the wilds, because I just don't want to toss any. Like if I have to, if I miss a creature or something, I want to shuffle it back into my deck. So let's go here again. Illumination. Any orders? I'm gonna shuffle now and then cast this illumination. Because there's a gear hulk that I'd like to draw, especially now that we've got this going on. There's more lands, which is a little sad, but like, oh, we're good now. Oh, I have six through my turn, which isn't that bad in all reality. Because like we're just gonna gear hulk illumination again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can gear hulk with this loud back up. Alright, I'm still gonna gear hulk into illumination. My sh if anybody that's in the chat could tell you, is the stream still going alright? Looks like it's tweaking out a little bit on my end. I just wanted to make sure that you know we're still we're still rocking and rolling for the viewers. Oh, we just hit over 10,000 views, which is pretty sweet. The channel is up over 10 G's in views, which is pretty awesome. Like, pretty excited about that. We're making it. All right, so this guy's now going to stick. We'll cast this. We get another Hulk. Then we can Hulk again, get into just like another illumination. Or another just like another card draw spell or Hulk into a counter spell to cover his next play. Yeah, that, that you know that's that's a problem with the stream that we don't win enough. But what are you gonna do? We just gotta hop back on that Death Shadow train if we wanna start winning more. I'll get her back around to Death Shadow. It is, is it is it is exciting to play a whole new deck. I do know that Death Shadow is more popular whenever I'm on my YouTube channel. Death Shadow is like always a good a good check-in. Oh, that's annoying. I guess I can just counter this and then dissolve the next one and just not really care. And then just clock them for 10, clock them for 10. God, Torrential Deal Girl, just end some games. I even get the sensor here, this is great. Just have my embarrassment issues. Also, the TV lag is 10 to 15 seconds. That's, is, that, that, is that on your end with the TV, or is there anything that I, I don't know if there's anything I can do. I would like to play Legacy, and I might be able to play a little bit of Legacy in the future, but I would like to get some Bug Delver going on here. I am, I am a big fan of the old Bug Delver. So now we disallow this trigger next turn. We probably can sign whatever they play and then bounce it. Then we can oblivion next turn if we want. The world, the world is our oyster. Yeah, TV's you. That makes me feel better. All right. So we turn into some big old grindy deck here. I don't think I want to bring in my siphoners. If I see, um, whatever it is, <laughs> if I see, um, 
Walking Ballista from my opponent. Unless we don't see Walking Ballista after sideboards. I don't think I want these cards. I like the way you already sold your box. Sounds like, sounds like a personal problem, my friend. I'm gonna have to cut these. these. These sensors have not been good after sideboard. Because everybody just plays around them really well. Maybe I can keep one or two in. Probably the gate's just better. Keep one in. Because worse comes. It's got a, it's got sensor's got a really low floor. Like it just cycles, which is like isn't that bad at all. I'm gonna fill up my water again. We have two counter spells, we can cast them. We've got like a big late game bomb. This old Elder Dino here. Big old T-Rex. I'm just gonna do this now so we can get that F6 value. I played too much magic online to miss out on that. Thank good there's no siphoner. My opponent can take one turn off while being in good shape. I might actually cycle this illumination because, like, there's a good chance that my man is just clogged up for the rest of the turns here. Yeah, I'm take your pick. If my opponent leaves me with an illumination, I'm gonna cycle it. Cycle. Can do another one. <clears throat> Hopefully, I get to just. Not, don't let the filter happen. Hopefully by the time this becomes relevant, we can deal with it. Um, might as well cycle. Oh, I should cycle. Well, I can still cast this one. Cycle this one. All right. Now I wish I would cycle the other one, but I think if we head and hit, having the sensor would be better. My opponent knows I have a disallow. Playing into it. I think I gave another one. Because Gaunti's the one you, you want to work to resolve, I think. If we have a redraw with this, hopefully we draw into a land and we can gear hulk into illumination. Just velocity back up. Lost legacy. Choose a non-artifact, non-land card from the game. They're probably gonna name Scarab Gun. So I could hit one. I have negate, so I am gonna cycle. Because they hit if we can hit this, it's good zone. You got it. I assume it's just Scarab God. It's going to be difficult just winning with a, with a torrential gear hole. But, but we might be able to do it. There's, there's a chance. There's a will, there's a way. It's 
still haven't chosen what they've chosen. Are they just like thinking about it? it? Means glimmer of genius. Swing and a miss, my friend. Whoa. You know I have a you know like I have illumination. That's gotta like tip you off at least that I don't have glimmer. What's going on, man? What are you doing? What are you doing, my friend? Man, I'm excited to play this Mario Vehicle deck. I really want this to resolve. If they had disallowed, they would just have it now. So I'm going to upkeep this Gear Hulk. Well, I'm going to wait because I could counter something. I'm definitely going to cast it, no matter what. They don't play into play anything. I'm just going to cast it and try to hire, try illumination. And if that gets countered, I'm just going to slam the Tetsamok. Slam the old Tetsu Daddy. The nice thing is, is that this uh, consign here deals with the back half of champion pretty well. This Tetsamok's going to be fine on its own. It's just a six-six death touch. So like. There's no shame in just slamming it. Okay, that's good. That means they don't have it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, they might have a negate. Like, negate something they easily could have. Well, that was a miss. Let's cycle this before we get before we do anything. All right, that's good. Now I might consign my own Gear Hulk back to my hand if my opponent tries to kill it. Because I trade for their removal spell and then I just get a flashback and another elimination, which is pretty awesome. And we're gonna have six, seven, eight, nine lands next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So we're gonna be able to like, do like maybe cast the Gear Hulk and do other stuff. All right, they get their champion. Let them resolve the champion before I get rid of this. Then we'll just bounce this. I could just Tetsamok Market, actually, and then kill it. Yeah, I think I like doing that more, because I kind of want to hold this Consign. Oh, Marionette. This is a Marionette Master deck. Holy shnikes. Yeah, I think I want to hold this Consign to hit on my... to like, hit my Hulk. Oh, she got another Black Source. Yes. Now we're just going to hold up this Hulk. I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cast this with this. So I am gonna mark this. Just use my mana. Next turn I should be able to Tetsamok clearing. Oh they're gonna block again. I mean, that's legit. That's, like, we're just getting cards out of their way. Like, if it's Tetsamok... Like, the Tetsamok just gained us card advantage anyways. Saved us a card by killing this thing. I'm really excited to bounce this Gear Hulk and then have them try to kill it. And then Gear Hulk Counterspell. Like, that's, that's what we're looking for here. Oh, it's having too much mana to do. Hostage taker. Okay. I'll let you take my gear hulk. Then I'll 
bounce the hostage taker to their hand. Illumination with this gear hulk. We're just going like all kinds of happy time here. And then we'll just hold the other Hulk. Grab a push, which is gonna like invalidate the, you can cycle this, which is gonna invalidate the hostage taker because they take the card, we get to push it back. We'll get to do all kinds of more fun stuff. Or we can do that. Yeah, we just have like, an embarrassment of riches. Kind of that. Then we crack them for five. Oh, they have another counter spell. They have another counter spell, and they got another counter spell. All right. I mean, at least that puts something in the graveyard to be able to use on our Gear Hulk again. So it is definitely not the end of the world as we know it. And then if we run out of mana next turn, I can just consign Mind Rot them. <clears throat> the world, the world is our oyster at the moment. Scarab got of their own, so we got a game. But I'm going to be able to mark all their creatures with Gear Hulk, anyways. So reveal this. Put a count on the Scarab God. Then I think I'm just going to cast this. Get rid of the god. <clears throat> they probably bring back Gonti. We might be in for a little bit of a slugfest still. At least the Tetsamok doesn't work with Scarab God the way the guy probably wants it to. I could have also just Mind Rotted their hand out. This game could get interesting towards the end. Because we know they have a Hostage Taker. And I'm not going to attack with my Scarab God if they get Gaunty back because I don't want them to be able to play the God next or attack with the Torrent to play the God and then reanimate my Gear Hulk. I'd rather just attack with Tetsamok. I'll just play this search out. We know they have a hostage taker, so we definitely want to be able to handle that. They reanimate my Scarab God. Then they keep mine. At least I think they do. So then their scare mark comes back there. Alright, well at least we get to get in there with the Hulk now. I don't think this play actually works out better for my opponent. Well the scare rod triggers off itself, which is which is sweet. <clears throat> we're, we're drawn to a lot of outs to kill our opponent next turn. Because they need to hit a land. Hit a land in order to get the Scarab God back with the, um, with the, whatever it is, the Hostage Taker. But if they can take my Torrential Gear Hulk, we're in for a game. 
So we'll play Tet Tetsumaki has been okay. It's been good, not great. I think it could be because I haven't sideboarded properly. Okay, so here comes Gonti. The Lord of Luxury. It's a big 4-4. Four -four. So they scry. So they have Scare God, Hostage Taker, and then whatever they draw. They went bottom, bottom. So I can actually go Contempt, Gear Hulk, Contempt. If I need to. And you get one creature through. They have Scare of God, Hostage Taker, X. Gift to the board. Okay, so I find a way to remove a blocker. Then we're in good shape. I need a way to get Revolt. I guess I can actually consign this, bounce this, and then get them. Yeah. So we got it. <coughs> yep. Nope. Bounce this. We get our fun bucks back. It's not the split card that it always flashes back, but we remove a blocker. Cast consign on that. Then you just crack in there. Got him. It's nine o'clock. I have to be up in eight hours. I don't actually don't think I'm gonna get in with the Marty deck, unfortunately. Well, I guess they can bring back another blocker, which is kind of annoying. They're not actually dead. So I missed that one. Let me just cycle this. Actually, what kills my opponent? I guess another fatal push kills my opponent, so let's go like this. Alright, well we hit a contempt, so we'll just wait. That's annoying. I just missed that, but I don't wanna I obviously don't want to attack into this because I actually don't want to trade. We might actually lose this game now, because I was just wasn't thinking. I felt like Ding Gear Hulk did it. But it turns out it didn't. My opponent could get me here. Yeah, they're going they're gonna they're gonna at least make it make uh, give it a shot at turning the game around. Cause now they can go hostage taker, cast my own gear hulk. Oh yeah, we could we could get it here. We could definitely screw the pooch here. We played ourselves into a position where it looks like we might have we might have lost out. They play Scarab God and Set. Wow. That's interesting. No, don't do this. All right, let's cycle. So I, just, I think I just kill my opponent again as long as they, then we have the negate. So as long as they don't have another removal, they can bring this back. So maybe I should just impulse one more time. That costs six. One, two, three, four, five. We'll take this allow. Push would have actually been okay because I could have pushed that. Yeah, I'm definitely playing poorly now. I'm just tired. I'll contempt this. Get that out of here. 
I, mean, I do think I'm eventually going to win this game, but like it should have been won a couple turns ago. Cast negate. Oh my god, I thought they reanimated their dude. I just killed. No. Gosh, see, I'm just tired now. Now we're just playing stupid. I'm gonna pass. That's frustrating. <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely not doing another league after this, as it's just getting late. For someone who's up at 5 a.m. for work, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Game, game, uh, whatever it is, of the last league, I'm feeling it. It's gonna give my opponent a window to win it, though. Like, I'm definitely gonna play myself into a rough spot here. I probably should have. I couldn't do anything with that. That's embarrassing, but it happens. Like, sometimes you just, like, I was just so keyed into this is going to get back. Um, this is going to get back something else. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to bring my, because um, I think they boarded out their ballista. Like negate just won me the game there. We still could win. We I need to take another shot from each of these death touch creatures though. Four six. Yeah. I actually need to block these. Gross. Gosh, this is gross. I just played myself into like a complete screwy pile here. It was just like a little frustrating. <clears throat> okay, so my opponent, Fear Hulk's back nothing. Or they just marry a Netmaster? Okay. All right, opponent, you got us. Block, block. Take a million, they still have a hostage taker. Yes. No. Alright, they got it. And again, we had that game. I just like was not focused and just played myself out off of that game. So that one was my fault. That game was one. I just like did not play very well. So we're gonna take get these siphoners in. We're just gonna board out the some of the, the, the rough cards. This Tetsamok was not great, unfortunately. I wanted this Tetsamok to be good, it just has not been good at all. Sensor will be better on the play. Where's Negate? Negate didn't do very much in the game. They're all creature based. When Duress isn't that good. I guess they're creature based, you just want Tetsamok. I'll bring in one more. I'll bring in one Duress to hit like a heavy hit from Negate or something like that. Let's see if we can end the league with our fun bucks that we don't deserve with how we've played. We don't deserve them. Who would like to play first? Sends a sketcher, but I'm going to keep it. And I think I actually need to keep this, play this fetid pools on one. I don't think I can get away with cycling it. But this is this is the Dylan Hubby Wednesday stream. After work, we get after wow, that was like the best top deck. After um Wednesday nights after working like a full day, you definitely get Dylan Hubby off the hinges a little bit. Yep, we don't need any more lands. Even though they cast this Veraska. Skin Temp will get there eventually. I probably should have just played my Field of Ruin there so I could fix my mana if I wanted to, but I would be willing to but they have searches, so I don't want to just bust my wad over that. Though they could be color. Um, uh, no. I want that so I'm just going to upkeep Illumination. Um, I'm not going to play my Siphoner. I'm just going to draw some cards in their mana. There's nothing scary they can do at 4 mana, I don't think. It gets scarier at 5. But I think I'm going to Field of Ruin. That's Dragon Skull Summit. No, we want that guy. This is gonna fix me, get me double black. Maybe like maybe my opponent doesn't play a basic island or a basic mountain. 
I can definitely see a deck like this not playing a basic mountain, because red seems to be a pretty light spat splash. And then I'm gonna definitely just gonna play Siphoner and cycle an illumination. Because <laughs> my hand's so clogged up with resources, they did. I mean it was it was wishful thinking. Scatter. I'd rather run Siphoner into that than Scarab God. So I don't think actually now I'm going to cycle these Illuminations. If my opponent plays a Scarab God, I'm going to cycle one. Okay. Because I'm going to tap out on my turn. Two, three, four, five. So now we're going to flip this. It's good for the home team. Not much to range out. Yeah, their, their basic land is weird. Yeah, standard standard is standard has not been great, but the immortal sun. Oh gosh, no way. Now I'm gonna cycle this. I'm gonna have to find my consigned to oblivion now. The immortal sun. Wow. I guess I'm just gonna like main phase, like I'm just gonna land this gear hulk. One, two, three, four. I can't I can't scare of God yet. So I'm just gonna land this gear hulk, flashback illumination, play a tap land. Just try to find my out to this card. But holy shnikes. Like, this is bad news. Look, he had, look at the backup plan he had. Like, holy shnikes. I do have an out to this card, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be... I'm going to be able to find it with his, as Kanta. I just need to find it before it's all over. That's a good sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I hit another land, I can play Scarab God and get back my Siphoner. I have one. Yeah, I've got one here. I, mean, I have an out. I, I don't think I boarded it out. No, I didn't board it out. All right, so we're gonna attack, play Scarab God, and then hold up getting back my Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Yeah, I, did, I think you need one. I played a league, last league, without one, and I lost a lot of games to whatever it is. I lost a couple games to Spell Swindle. Counter target spell. Unless an opponent plays three. I lost a lot of games to... Uh, lost, I lost uh, two games to Ixlon Fine. Dude, we're putting up we're putting up the fight here. I don't know what gets my opponent out of this. Cause even if they like our devastation, I still get Scarab God back. And can like Scarab God back my same thing as Oh, and now he's gonna take my Scarab God. That's okay, because I can copy his hostage taker. Take the hostage taker, take my Scarab God. One, two, three. Yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do next turn. Um, 
grab this. Whoa! Oh, I can counter that, okay. I had thought this card had lost its value, but it's still good. I know, he's got like all the good stuff here. So, take this. Oh, I can take the artifact? Oh no! But now I leave him with the Scarab God? I could have taken the artifact. No way, I didn't know that. I, now I can cast, but the problem is he's got a Scarab God. What does Scarab God do? Can I beat Scarab God if I just hostage take her this? Just take Band Sense. So, if I cast this hostage taker and take this, then I crack him for seven, and then I've got a million power on the board. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. I think I'm gonna like try to beat this god because there's only a Glint Sleeve Siphon left in play. <clears throat> then I'll cast this next turn. The fact that he didn't scare God me there means I think he has an answer to the Tossage Shaker. Vizier, no way! That's unreal! Oh my god, what a what a haymaker. So now he takes this scare of God. Or this hostage taker. He then. Hostage taker's back. My hostage taker. Now I need to look for a removal spell to grab this. Wow. Holy shnikes, what a game. I don't think he's going to time out. I think as soon as he gets control of this game, I'm in trouble. So he cracks me for six. Doesn't even attack. Weird. So now I need to find a Varaska's Contempt, I think. Probably should have shuffled. To the gate. No. Because now he's going to be able to cast this Vizier. Oh, now we're dead. Because he just cast this Vizier, copies the Hostage Taker, and because everything costs less, he can then just cast my Gear Hole. Oh my god. I don't even care. Like, I mean, I, I do, but like, this has just been unreal. Because now he just casts another, copies another one of these. He should have gotten another Gear Hulk, I think. He should have just gotten another Hostage Taker and taken that. He had enough mana to do that. <laughs> you can't do anything cool with the Gear Hulk. What a match. Holy shnikes. We still hold off the battlefield here. What is this? This is still in the gate here. But it doesn't even matter because of, I need to find a way to deal with the Scarab now. Because, like, I'm gonna kill this hostage taker, but if I don't get the Scarab God something back here, then I'm in a lot of trouble. Siphon.
So I'm gonna swamp with this. Okay, what have we got here? But hieroglyph illumination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Probably as contacting is better than the illumination. So let's go like this. No. So let's go like this first before we figure out what we're doing with that. Let's look at a bunch of cards. And let's try to figure out. Oh man, we got a disallow. out. There's two torrential gear and a scarab god. Any order. So one, two, three, four. We have to just cycle this. Oh, we drew two counter spells. So block. Block take. 12? That's what we're doing? I don't know what our I don't know what our out is next turn, but this has been this has been awesome. It it sucks a well actually no the, the the trigger just kills me. Unless I just get this, disallow the trigger. It's been cool. Like we can let the record show that had I been awake, I would have won game two. You know, if we're above the rim here, we get the little problem with Dylan on after working 12 hours today. But this was pretty sweet. This was pretty sweet. Reckoning's there. That. I still don't know. Don't know what my out is. The gate. Oh, man. All right. Let's pull back to the deck here and let's think about, let's check out what we think here. So I think this deck is good. I think that it needs to be built. I, I think that I, I played poorly tonight, partially because I'm tired, partially because I'm not a very good control player. I need help with my sideboard. I don't know exactly how, Star of Extinction would have been sweet. I don't know exactly how to build that, but if I can fix up my sideboard, I think this deck is good. I don't think I'll move forward with it. I think I'm going to play something a little more my style, but you know, if you're a control deck player, then this is this I think something like this is what you should be playing. So I would jump into another league tonight, but I need to be up at five. So again, I really appreciate everybody for showing up tonight. Um, put the sponsors on there one more time. If you're in the northeastern New York area, you should check out Gamer Craze. If you are they're a great store that fosters a college environment, so they have competitively priced singles. Card Hoarder is the best bot chain in the business, so you should check them out for all of your needs. You can always find all of my streams, including that amazing game on YouTube and my punt before it that caused the game to happen. Then uh, if you ever want to connect with me on Twitter, that's why I love to talk about magic all the time. So if that's what you guys, uh, if you just talk to me, then you know I'll play your deck. We'll just interact. I love interacting about magic. So I really appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight, and I hope you have a good rest of your week, and I'll be back on Sunday. See you guys later.